Hi, I'm Gabriella from Postcards from Hawaii, a travel and lifestyle blog, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew your very own hair scrunchie. These scrunchies make the perfect gift and they're also a really great sewing project, no matter what your skills are, as long as you know how to use a sewing machine. What you will need is a piece of fabric measuring 55 centimeters long and 12 centimeters wide, a piece of elastic measuring 14 centimeters long, your sewing machine, fabric shears or scissors, snips, and you can use your scissors if you don't have these, pins, two safety pins, cotton thread, and a ruler, tape measure, or a pattern master, any of them will do. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is iron out your fabric and cut a rectangle that measures 55 by 12 centimeters. For the inch measurements, check out the blog post which is linked in the description box below because I can't remember off the top of my head. Fold your fabric in half lengthways with the right sides facing in. Grab some pins and pin it from one end right the way down to the other end. Next, we're going to be leaving an opening so that we can turn our scrunchies through to the right way round later on. So to do that, we'll grab a pencil and a ruler and mark five centimeters from the top end and five centimeters from the bottom end. Don't worry about this pencil marking. It's not going to be visible on your scrunchie later on. Take this over to the sewing machine and line up your needle with that pencil marking you made. For this tutorial, the seam allowance is going to be the edge of your fabric to the edge of your presser fit. Send that stitching all the way down to the other pencil marking. Don't forget to back stitch at the top and end of your stitching. Remove your fabric and snip those threads. Now we are ready to turn our scrunchie round to the right way. So take an open end, it doesn't matter which one, and feed that fabric through. We're just gonna push it through like so. It'll take about two minutes to do, so just be patient with it. Just keep pushing and pulling and feeding it through. You will get there. There we go. Now we're going to close this loop. So we're going to take this over to a flat surface where we're going to fold the fabric in half and line up the corners of the two pieces of fabric. So get those corners aligned, pop a pin in there, move your way over to the other corners, align those together, pop a pin in there. It's best to do the corners first just so you can make sure that they're perfectly aligned. Then grab a pin and just put another one right in that middle bit. And when you're ready, take it over to the sewing machine again. We're gonna be sewing right from the very end to the other very end. Remove your pins as you go, back stitch at the start and end of your stitching. If you know how to use a sewing machine, you'll already know to do that. And if you don't know how to use a sewing machine, what are you doing here? This is going to be so confusing. I will say this is not a difficult tutorial at all, but you do need to know how to use a sewing machine in order to make this work. When you reach the end, do that back stitch that we were just talking about. Then remove your fabric from the machine and snip those threads. Now push that seam we just created into the inside of the scrunchie, just like that. And it's time to move on to the elastic. So we are going to cut a 14 centimeter long piece of elastic. Again, the inches are in the blog post, linked in the description box below. Now take those two safety pins and pop one into one end of the elastic, just like that and take the other safety pin to secure the other end of the elastic to the inside of your scrunchie. It does not matter which side, as long as it's just on the inside at that opening. Grab that loose end of the elastic and push it through your scrunchie. 
use that safety pin to kind of gather the fabric over it and then when you can't gather it anymore pull it from the other side gather 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 push 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 pull keep doing that until you make it all the way through back out the same opening that you went in through now locate the other end of the elastic and line those two ends of the elastic up push that scrunchie back so that you can get kind of a clear grasp of that elastic and remove those safety pins. Make sure the scrunchie is pushed back so you can clearly grab at that elastic just like this because we're going to be taking this over to the sewing machine to sew so you don't want to get the scrunchie in the way when you do that. Line that up with the sewing machine and just send some stitching back and forth from one end to the other, just back and forth, back and forth. This is going to secure your elastic band so that it doesn't snap open when you are putting your scrunchie in your hair because that would be the worst. It uh, doesn't matter how many times you go back and forth. I like to go back and forth maybe six times just to make sure it's super secure. Then push that elastic in and we're going to be closing up this hole. So fold the two edges of your fabric inwards and you want to line this up with the rest of the scrunchies. So the seam that already exists is kind of like seamless <laughs> in a way. Yeah, you just want to make sure that it just lines up perfectly. Once it does, get some pins, pin that hole closed and take it over to the sewing machine where we're gonna put in a top stitch just to close up this hole. So we're gonna line that stitching up as close as we can to the edge of the scrunchie without going so close that we're not gonna have a consistent line of stitching. Back stitch and just send that stitching all the way down until you have closed up that hole. You don't have to go all the way around the scrunchie, just enough so that hole is closed. Back stitch at the end, remove your scrunchie and snip those threads. And oh my goodness, what is that? That is a scrunchie. Why am I being so weird? I don't know. Let's just roll with it. I don't want to do another take of this audio. There we go. Let's look at the top stitching. It exists, it's good. And the last step I like to do is turn that stitching that we just made through to the inside of the scrunchie. Personally, I just think this looks more professional to just have a clean, same edge on the scrunchie that doesn't have that little bit of stitching. I don't really know what I'm saying. What I mean is it just looks nicer when you wear that scrunchie and it just looks the same. And there you have it, your very own homemade hair scrunchie. I'm so proud of you. Okay, guys. Well, if you enjoyed making this and you found this tutorial super helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have a couple of other tutorials on here as well for you to see. And if you really enjoyed it or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to tag me if you make these. I would love to see them. Okay, guys. Thank you.